morning. Um, so hip style, you've got 45 seconds of work, 15 second rest. We have strength and cardio. All of our strength exercises are gonna be unilateral. So we'll be working one side for that first round, second time through it, we'll switch and work that other side for that same move. Um, we'll do our warm up and then we'll get into those Tabatas. So we will be using weights today. Um, I put that in the little message, but you will have weights. You really only need one since it is unilateral, uh, but you can grab two if you want, if you want to double up for some of the moves. But otherwise, let's get started with our warm up and then we'll get to the good stuff. So. Standing, find some room. Let's start just a couple shoulder rolls back here. <clears throat> Good. And then we're going to take you to that march or that jog and lift. March or jog. Good. Pumping arms and legs. Let's keep that march or that jog going. Start by bringing those arms in the nice big circles forward. So again, you can march here or take it to more of that jog. Good. Let's switch directions. Big circles back. That march your jog going. Next move, those soft hugs. So arms come in front, we hug, and then we squeeze shoulder blades in the back. Alternating which arm comes on top for that hug. Squeeze in the back. Don't march in your jog in. Okay, let's take it to the next move. We've got toe touches. So you pick that leg up, opposite hand reaching towards those toes. Side to side here. We're going to stay here a couple more. Then you're still going to do those toe touches, but feet will stay planted, and you'll add that bend. One more each side. Good. Feet come out wide, staying planted. Now we go to our toe touch here, reaching down towards those toes. So adding that bend in. During your workout today, make sure you're focusing on that breathing, in that nose, out that mouth. One more each side. Good. Feet stay on line. Let's take it side to side. Lateral lunges. So you push those hips back, moving side to side. Now you can keep it up taller here, or if you want, think a little bit lower. Add that reach to the floor. Couple of seconds here. Then we're going to step those feet hip width apart. One more each side. Good. Feet come hip width apart. You're going. Squat to that knee pulse. Squat knee pulse. Good. Alternating sides on that squat to those hips back. Push out through those heels. Let's do one more each side. And then we'll take it to some cardio moves to finish out that warm up. Good. Let's start with butt kicks. So you can come to that jog, jog and butt kick, or you step side to side with that arm pull. Kick that feet. Up towards that butt. Step for jog. A few more seconds here, then high knees. Three, two, one. Bring them up, high knees. Up. So again, you can jog here, or you can step and pull. Drive those knees up. Those are your two choices. Pick that one that suits you. Last few seconds here for three, two, and one. Nice job. All right, check it out. Ready going for workout? So again, unilateral strength. So we're gonna work one side at a time, and then we'll have our cardio in between. So first one, you're gonna grab that weight. You've got a lunge hold with a bicep curl. And so we're gonna hold that lunge. The arm with the leg back is gonna be your one curl. So you kind of work in opposites here. We'll curl. We'll take to our cardio move, and then we'll switch to that other side. Forty-five seconds of work. 15 second rest. You can grab one weight or you can double up weights if you have lighter. Five seconds here and we start. Ready? Three, two, one. Let's work. So we hold that lunge, the arms curling. So again, like I said, I'm in my lunge, that leg that's back, that's the side my arms on, and we curl. Keep that back tall, press proud. Now, if you prefer to take that lunge hold out, you can stand as you curl that way out. I want to hold that lunge. Okay. Hold it for that 45 seconds and curl, or up and down with that curl. Back tall, chest proud. 
Feeling that lower body, curling that way, all the way up, all the way down on that upper body. Woo! Two, one, rest. Set it down. We got 15 seconds here. First time you move burpees. We're going to get them out of the way, all right? Burpees. I'll give you the option for those, but you got 45 seconds of work. Three, two, one, let's work. So first option, you come down, step it back, step it up, calf raise. Second option, jump down, jump back, jump up. Third option, return that to come down to that floor, two lunges back, and then that jump or calf raise. Come on, push it, 45 seconds. You got it. Jump or step. When you come down, you want shoulders stacked over wrists, Landing nice and strong and then coming balls of those feet for that jump or that calf raise. Last 10 seconds here. Keep pushing and then we're going to do that other side for that strength move. Woo! Two, one, rest. Nice job. All right. Grab that weight. Other side. So that other leg. You're going to hold that lunge. Other arm bicep curl. Let's head up. Three. Two, one, and so then you hold and you curl from the side here. Hold, and I like leg that's back. Is that arm that's curling? Or like I said, if you prefer not to hold, you can lift and lower. Good. I know my legs are sore Woo! from this week, so maybe holding doesn't suit you today. Go into that lunge up and down, or other option, keep holding that lunge low, keep curling. Good, you guys, you're strong, you got it. We got about 10 more seconds here, then we go to burpees one more time. Back tall, chest proud. Last second, three, two, one. Nice job, set that way down. 15 second breather here. We got one more round with those burpees, okay? Remember those options, I'll run through them all again. Get ready, three, Two, one, clutch work. So you can jump back, jump up, jump. You can come down, step back, step up, jump or calf raise, or you stay high, two lunge taps back, jump or calf raise. Come on, 45 seconds, let's go. Push it, push that pace. Cardio, you wanna focus on getting that heart rate up, pushing through that 45 seconds. High intensity, as quick as you can get through it. We got our recovery next. 15 seconds left here. Come on. Woo! Push through. You can do it. Give me a few more. Jump or step. Let's go. Last five. Two, one, rest. Nice job. Okay. Take that breather. We got about 30 seconds here for our recovery. Grab drinks, towel off. Getting ready for our next move. We're going to come down to a bridge. So you've got a single leg bridge with the chest press. So you're going to hold that bridge up, arm onto to the side. That arm is pressing up for a chest press, okay? Ready? One, and work. So same leg that's in the air is the arm that's pressing up in that chest press. Again, if you need more weight and you have to double it, Always an option here. Bring that single leg down. Just hold that bridge and work on that unilateral chest press. Good. Pushing through that here, left on the floor. My glutes are engaged. My core is engaged. I press up and lower down. Press up, lower down. We got it. Woo! Feeling it here. Shake it. Ten more seconds. Come on, stay with it. Then we got mountain climbers for our cardio, so you'll stay. On your mat or your floor. Two, one, rest. Nice job. Set that weight down. 15 seconds here. We can roll it up to seat it. Roll it over. You got mountain climbers. Now, you can do a standing option. I'll show you that when we get there. One, let's work. So, options for mountain climbers. Come here, step those legs in. We're going cross body, opposite elbow to knee. So, cross. We're in that jaw. Cross that body. If you prefer a standing option to avoid those wrists, cross body here. Good. Push that pace. Cross body. Opposite elbow to knee. 
in that step or that jog. Now, you want to focus on staying in that plank position if you're down on that floor. So back to our butt low, now up here. Okay? Woo! 10 seconds to go. Come on, keep pushing. Then we roll it back over and we hit that other side for that bridge and chest press. Rest. <laughs> nice job. Take a quick stretch there. And then when you're ready, we've got about 10 seconds. Come back to that back. One and work. So my other leg up here, weight in that other hand, arm out to the side, pressing. So if you can see my arm, it's up here like I'm having like gold post, pressing that weight up. My hand that's not working, I have flat on that floor or that mat, pushing through my heel, glutes engaged, core engaged, hold that bridge up. Always an option. Both feet stay on that floor. So, woo! Good guys, we got 15 seconds left here. Keep pushing. Then we got one more round with those cross body climbers. Oh yeah, squeeze. Push through it. We're almost there. One rest. Nice job. Set that weight down. Again, 15 seconds here. We're gonna transition over to plank or come for that standing action. Cross body climbers, one more time. Set it up, one, work. So, stepping option, cross that elbow. You need really focus on squeezing that core. You can take it to more of a jog, or again, standing option to lay off those wrists a little bit. You come here, standing. Squeeze that core, opposite elbow to knee. Push it through, got it. Cross. Body, opposite, elbow to knee. There we go. Stick with me after this, we get that recovery. 15 seconds to go. Keep pushing. Step, dog, or that standing option. Pick that one that suits you. Push. Three, two, one. Nice. Take a quick stretch. 30 second breather here. Grab a drink, towel off. I'll show you my next move. Good, okay. Next move, we're working just upper body for strength. So you're gonna have that weight on one side. We go upright row, come down, front raise, down. Upright row, so you're gonna work those shoulders. All right, grab a weight. We're gonna go a little lighter if you have options here. Stay tall, let's work. So, upright row, front raise. Now, for that front raise, you only come shoulder height. So from the I row up and I lift. Let's do this way too. Row up, elbow to the side, and lift. Shoulder height. Back tall, chest proud. Really feel it in that shoulder, that upper back. Good. Exhale with the effort. There you go. Woo! Now, I'm sure you won't forget, but. Remember which side you're doing, because next time we hit the strength boom, we're going to work the other arm. Upright, front raise. One, rest. Nice job. Set it down. Now we're going to add a little more lower body into our cardio. So you've got wide to narrow squat jumps or steps. I'll show you those options. Take it out. Get ready. We're going to three, two, one. So first option, you jump wide to narrow. Second option. You can step wide to narrow, okay? Separate jump, focus on getting that lower body, pushing that pace for that cardio. Jump or step wide to narrow. There you go. Good, maybe you do a mix of both. So you do a couple jumps, and then you take it to a couple steps. 20 seconds to go. Woo, feel that lower body. After this, we go back to that strength move. Hitting that other side. Keep pushing. We got five seconds left here. Woo. Two, one. Nice job. Take it out. All right. We get to you on the other side now. So grab that weight. We got upright row and then that front raise. Stand tall, shoulders back. Ready? One, let's work. So upright row on this side, front raise. Upright row, front raise. Again, from the side, I row up, elbow out, 
and then I lift, shoulder high. Row, lift. My back tall, my chest proud. So I'm here, not hunched over, and now I'm leaning way back. All right. Keep it tall and proud. Upright, front raise. There you go. Good. We got about 10 seconds to go here. Then we hit that cardio move with that lower body mixed in. One more time. Two, one, rest. Go, set it down. All right. One more round with that wide to narrow squat, jump, or step. Do that one that suits you. Ready? In three, two, one. Let's work. So again, those options. You jump wide to narrow. Other option. Step side to side, wide to narrow. Or like I said, first round, maybe you mix it up. Do a couple jumps and then take it to a couple steps. It's your workout. You pick that move that suits you. Push yourself through those 45 seconds. Heart rate up, high intensity. You're working as hard as you can for those 45. Woo! Good. We got 10 seconds to go. Feel it in that lower body. Oh, yeah. Keep pushing. Back to us. proud. One. Rest. <laughs> nice job. All right. Breather here. Grab a quick drink. <laughs> Owl off. Your next move for strength, we got single leg deadlift to a press. So you're gonna have your weight in the same hand of your leg that stays planted. You can grab two if you'd like. So we deadlift down, we come up and press. If you wanna have two weights, feel free to do so. Or pick a heavier one, ready? Let's work. Deadlift down, come up, overhead. Other option, you can keep that toe down, that leg instead of lifting it. So you single leg deadlift here, hand toe, press. The third option, you just do both feet flat, normal deadlifts up, and then that single arm press. Okay, like I said, take that move that's going to serve you today. Single leg deadlift, press, or deadlift, and press. You're going to keep that back flat, squeeze those glutes. If you stand tall, press that weight overhead. Balance if you're doing that single leg. Balance, core's engaged. One, rest. Nice job. Okay, set it down. Next time here, we'll, we'll get the other side. We got shuffle taps now. So you're going to shuffle over, tap, shuffle over, tap. Two, one, lots of work. So we shuffle, tap, shuffle. Now. Depending on your space, you might just get two quick shuffles in and tap. You can turn and shuffle front to back if your space allows it. Otherwise, if you don't have much room, take it to those fast feet, tap, fast feet, tap, fast feet, tap, okay? Push it through it, 20 more seconds here. Shuffle tap or fast feet tap. Good. Keep pushing. A couple more seconds here, then we're going to that other leg for that deadlift. One, rest. Nice job. Woo. All right. Grab that weight, other side, single leg deadlift, that single arm press, or again, I'll run through those different options. Weights in the hand of that leg as it's planted. Ready? Let's work. So, we got single leg deadlift, single arm press. Second option, that leg stays back, toe down. Single leg deadlift, arm press. Third option, both feet flat. You've got your normal deadlift, up, single arm press. Pick that move. That works best for you today. What can your body do? You got it. Push through. Woo! Back flat, squeezing those glutes. Forms engaged here. You got a single leg balance. Oh, yeah. Woo. Couple seconds left here. Finish it out. Two, one, rest. Nice job. Set those weights down. We're going back. Shuffle taps. Side to side, or you got fast feet. Tap. All right. Set up. Ready? Two, one, 
we have to work. So we shuffle, tap, shuffle, tap, shuffle, tap. Again, if you need to, turn to the side, move front, back. If that works better in your space, or if you don't have to, pass, tap, pass feet, tap. All right. Come on, we'll push it through. There you go. Stay with it. You got about 20 seconds left here. There we go. Get up. We'll go front to back. Repeat right here. Coming at you. Tap. Tap. There we go. Two. One. Rest. Nice work. All right. Take it out. You got your recovery. 30 seconds. We got a couple more rounds to go through. Our next one. For strength. You're going to be in a plank position. So knees or toes. You got your weight on one side. We row, kick back, and then down. Option here. If that plank doesn't serve you, come to tabletop, same thing. Row, kick back. Grab that weight. Three, two, one. So again, on those knees in that plank, I row, kick it back, well, balance. Almost lost it. Toes, row, kick it back, down. If plank's not serving me today, tabletop, same thing. Row to my chest. Kick it back and down. Now, if you need to give those wrists a break, same thing, standing, a little bit of lean, I row, kick it back, and bring it down. All right, all those options, you pick that one that serves you. A couple seconds left here. Woo! Let's do. For three, two, and one, nice job. Okay, set it down. We've got cardio. We're doing three jumping jacks, one star. Three jacks, one star. Take it out, five seconds here. Three, two, one, let's work. So three jumping jacks, one star. You can do step jacks, and then a star tap. Other option, three jacks. You don't wanna come off that floor for that star, keep your feet low. And star out there. Step for three. Step star. Jump for three. Jump star for three jacks. And then come up for that star. All right? Keep pushing. You can do it. Step for three. Step for star. Jump for three. Jump for star. Keep it up. We got five left. Two. One, last, nice work. All right, coming down for that standing position. You got the other arm, row to kick. Set it up, five seconds here. Three, two, one, work. So from the knees, I row to get back, down. From the toes, row to get back, down. This plank is not serving me, tabletop. Shoulder stack to wrist, same thing. Row, kick it back and down. For a final option, you avoid those wrists. Come to standing, flexing in that upper body. I row, kick it back and down. Okay? Push through. You've got 15 seconds left here. You can come out a little bit wider for a little more stability in that plank. Row, kick back, down. You got it. Five left. Two, one, rest. Nice job. Okay, set that weight down. Back to our jumping jack to start now. Three jacks, one star. Woo, last time through it. Ready? Three, two, one, let's work. So again, I can step for three jacks, step out for that star. You can jump three jacks, and then that lower jump for that star, or jump. Three jacks and a pop for that song. Come on, you guys. Push through. Breathe. Out that mouth. Cardio. Get that heart rate up. Push, push, push. You got it. 20 more seconds here. Back and three jacks and stop. Come on, keep working. You can do it. You are capable of hard things. Push through it. Five left. Three. Two, 
And one. Nice job. Woo! Okay. Breather here. Grab a drink. We got one more round to go through. This time, we're going to hold that weight, but you're working lower body. So, you're going to come out to a lateral lunge and then curtsy. Lateral to curtsy. All on one side. And we got a cardio move. And then we'll get to do that other side. Okay? So, always an option. You don't have to hold weight here. If you want, you can hold both. I'm going to hold just one. Let's work. So, lateral to curtsy. Lateral to curtsy. So, on my lateral, I step out, push that hip back. If you have that weight, I just reach it down towards that foot. Lateral to curtsy. Now, you can take that little tap in between, or you can go right from that move to that curtsy. All right? Lateral to curtsy. You want to focus on keeping that back flat, that chest proud. Good. Lateral. Woo! Curtsy. Couple more here. Three, two, one. Nice drop. So we All right. Cardio this move. You've got X jumps. You go wide, narrow, wide, front to back. Jump or stop. I'll show you some options. Ready? Three, two, one. So I jump wide, narrow, wide, front to back. I can step wide, narrow, wide, front to back. If that move doesn't serve you, you can take it more of an out, out, and in. And if you prefer not to have that front to back. Wide, narrow, wide, front to back. From the side here, wide, narrow, wide, right, step, woo, narrow, step wide, don't trip on the mat if you have one. Step narrow, step wide. Push yourself through it, come on. Quick tempo here, you can do it. Five left, you are good. Two, one, nice work. All right, we've got two moves left. We're hitting that other side for that lateral to curtsy. So if you're using that weight, pick it up. Whew. Lateral to curtsy on that other side. One, four. So we got lateral to curtsy. Again, you can have that tap in between or lateral right to that curtsy. Good. Always an option to take one of those moves out. So you can just take Curtsy. Lateral. All right, set it down. We got one more with our cardio. Then we'll stretch it out. 45 seconds not to work today. If you prefer not to have 